Tails does seem does need a bit more support to get up that map. I think it, the term I, I kind of like to describe players like Tom, YDE, and, and, and Spen, for example, is, is the sort of anchor role they have. It's falling over and over again, however, too semantic, but it usually seems to be a trade as a Baron does come and help him out. Out, still managing to survive now. Face very, very low, and Chaos does seem does need a bit more support to get up that map a bit. <laughs> I mean, we were talking about palm palms. That's a palm palm and a half there from Yashi with a nice double kill. I mean, it, it, it's pretty much just done for for this first game. As Tribe Gaming will be taking it home. Fucking twenty one percent already been wiped off. Tribe safe. Wow, I Chaos was super onto the save. Will be going down afterwards but so should drake so getting a pushback two people down the right hand lane now and it needs to be cleaned up quite quick as tribe are at a bit of a deficit now and need to get some damage onto that safe semantic gonna use that super but tom gonna come down with a splash drake gonna defend and it's 46 46 gia gets taken down as well and now tribe starts to rain down on two sk safe they are in the lead now with only 20 percent remaining on sk safe and no chance of a comeback as only a few seconds remain and try with a massive comeback, get the first set on the board. Tom doing a great job up the top left of dodging this curve ball, but a wall came down, Semantic dropped a, uh, a launch pad and managed to get straight over it, which <laughs> I wouldn't say is usually the, the favorable gadget, but no. I have seen it used a lot just to jump over from spawn. It is interesting for, for the least, I mean, yeah, it's not exactly bringing him a whole lot of value, although he does have the support from Ikeos to try to push forward, which is uh, going to be the, the favorable setup for SK, as Ikeos is marked, so the one-on-one -on -one matchup is not going to be ideal. He really wants to be more of a support this time around, however, that's not going to be enough for Semantic to find the kill. It's a 3% lead for SK that had a very short-lived invasion on the top right zone, however, that Sprout Wall might just turn things around as we get a couple of percentages actually just a one for tribe still Might help he is going to be the strongest defensive element from sk's roster right now five seconds left they're walking into the zone but it's 53 to 53 and that game is very much going to be starting off the hp pool is quite low for sk semantic is going to go down wall plays down as well not the ideal placement i would say but the elimination does come true two percent are going to be secured by tribe and we saw in the previous game how much each single percent matters and the wall from Yashino enables him to capture but does make his left side a little bit weaker but with the help of Ikeos this could still lead to a pretty nice and significant lead 15% in favor of Tribe. SK though have a 3v1 situation although could have actually come at a better time. It just kind of stopped all control, but now the jump comes over and that is a big launch pad to place. Tom gets knocked back, but Semantic falling low. Chaos is gonna get the drop on it, but Yoshi pushing up as well. Chaos can keep that all he wants, but Yoshi needs to try and stay on this left-hand side now. And with doing that, they will be securing themselves this first set, oh, I mean, the set, this first game of the second set, as they did draw the first one, Tribe Gaming taking the lead once again. So they're starting to regress. Also, Yoshi pushing up now and putting himself in a great position. Does connect with Gie and the wall goes down as well. Gets the takedown and now Semantic forced to use a launch pad, but another wall comes out from Yoshi and it pushes him just out of his range. Good pinch from Drage comes in as well. And now Yoshi, this is the first aggressive play we've seen so early on into these games. Yoshi securing a lot of offensive percentage, but it looks like Chaos is getting up the right hand side too. All right, nice aggression from them. Uh, it's it's very impressive miss mark, but still, uh, this is not gonna be turned around here as SK Gaming, I mean, they can capture their own zone all they want. It will only get them to 52% far away from the 70. Those reflexes uh, on point and just dodge at the right moments. Which seemed maybe a little bit difficult for Drake <laughs> to do there. Semantic comes in and gets the takedown, just Tom remaining and. If he can get a couple of shots and guarantee super, he will walk into the zone, and that's exactly what he did. Definitely uh, hurting right now. Definitely hurting. Uh, we'll see if they can clutch anything up, but Semantic has his super available, and he can get close enough to nearly anyone. That's going to be some kills, although they do manage to single him out. Find the elimination, lock, escape. Which would be scary, can considering the draft here. Wall onto Gia, just securing it in a three versus one. And that is 
uh, going to make things very interesting. But a retrieval of the wall from Yoshi should be quite good in this late game, even though there's not a lot of connections he can really make here. All right, this is going to be tough for Tribe as SK have a big advantage now. A nice wall, but with the jump in from my kills, that's going to be the sprout out of the picture. The entire world, very low HP, but he is able to start healing up. I kills is one shot as well, but not going down. And SK are doing a great job at keeping their players alive. Can they do it all the way until the end? A three versus one as Rage turn around this set it's gonna be tough semantic low hp is gonna be a one for one trade which finding answer sprout is not terrible but drage is gonna go down to the poison tom has pretty much no way of staying alive here and that's gonna be escape to yeah i feel like he had to go for either one you know either place the the, the turret or <laughs> tp but he just went to to for for both for safe measure nine gems to nine incredibly close here and this is gonna be an important set as it could push things to a set five of escape Managed to keep up that gem count. Going to be interrupted by Yashi, but at the expense of quite a couple of HP. Look at that aggressive positioning of from both Tom and I Chaos in enemy sides, just accepting each other's positioning on that lane. But the kill from Gear comes through on the left hand side. That's going to be the gem carrier down. 21 gems for SK. Oh, for Tribe. Because they went from four games, one in a row, to. Yeah, it's very close right now. Semantic going for gem number eight. Yoshi taking a lot of damage. Great super from my kills. Fools makes Tom fool, sorry. And Yoshi is going to be next up. This might not... Oh, Guy is just going for the gems. We'll pick them up. Drage gets pinched. Never mind. I was going to say those gems will not be picked up, but might create enough space for Semantic to find an 11th. He's going to find 19. And that is going to be SK Gaming pushing things to set five. And Guy in. SK need to capitalize off that early overtime part where they have a lot of control. Yashi going aggressive, trying to get that ball cornered or away. But this is very much going to be the team wipe and the follow-up goal from SK Gaming. That Barley matchup going to be fairly dominant against the Mr. P all around. Let's see if they can keep it up like that, Tom. Kind of locking himself up there in that position with very low HP. The kill from Gear comes through. That's going to be the goal. And... This is a disaster for Tribe, absolute disaster. They have time to work with of the bat before SK even won a single game. And Semantic is absolutely wild and creating a lot of space and destroying any sort of control that Tribe Gaming even had. This is going to be it at SK Gaming. Take down Tribe once more with another reverse sweep history. This video is brought to you by the Snapdragon Pro Series. Guys, ESL Mobile are back once more. They've been building up the mobile esports scene for a very long time. And I'm super excited about the new Snapdragon Pro Series coming up. This is going to be covering all sorts of games from Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, PUBG Mobile, Asphalt 9, but of course, also brawl stars for brawl stars that's about a hundred seventy thousand dollar prize pool absolutely crazy amounts of money to be won and it will be covering the regions of europe plus mana as well as the apac region and north america so if you guys are from any of those regions you need to make sure you signed up for the snapdragon pro series lanny vance planned out as well and always thrilled to see those uh, coming up the horizon can't wait to get into the snapdragon pro series all the links if you guys want to register will be in the description as well as in the pinned comment thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys all for the next one